So, what's up guys and welcome to Evar's Flyvox Yacht. Um, this, this time we will be tying, tying a pattern that has like, I don't know how many videos I have of it. Three maybe or four on the channel, but this one is um, it's a little bit different, but it's the same pattern in general. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I'm using uh, like a tungsten uh, bead on the hook. It's an RX uh, nymph hook. I'm using a black tungsten on it, uh, pinching down the barb so the tungsten fits on the hook. And then we're good to go to tie that fly. Uh, this fly, originally, it is an Icelandic pattern that is called peacock. And it looks like this. This is how, like, we are going to tie it in the video. But uh, originally, it's tied with a peacock hurl in the body. But we are going to switch that out for this uh, kill subs uh, in the peacock colors. So it's a flat braid uh, quill subs. And we are using this uh, traditional nymph hook from Arax uh, number 10 uh, for that task. You can use like, um, I don't know, smaller hooks maybe. I'm using a sample fly, uh, nano silk in 30 denier for this fly. And uh, I'm rep of course representing the sample fly products uh, and the RX, hook, RX hooks as a proud uh, member of the sample fly pro team and the RX pro team as well. Um, the video description uh, in there you can find the um, find the pattern of the fly, and uh, I have fished this fly like this. It worked, uh, but uh, the um, what is uh, what is it's imitating is like a like a cased caddis that is peeping, like a peeping caddis that is peeping out of the of the case. Uh, here, I have just like um, black uh, wool DMC yarn. Uh, this is to create like an underbody, so you can actually use whatever you kind of whatever you prefer to use. But I, I use this black uh, DMC yarn. You can use just wool, black wool, or just any 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 anything you have, just by the hand. This is only to um, only I only use it as an underbody and uh, to get the body a little bit thicker. Then this flat braid uh, the material will come on the top. So I'll wrap this forward. The touching wraps, and then we will um, add the. Um, Add the flat bit behind and then create this simple hotspot. This is like a, like a, I would say beginner's friendly pattern. And uh, mostly in Iceland, it, it is used in the springtime and like mid season, maybe. It uh, depends on where you're fishing and which elevation. If you're fishing in the highlands, this goes further into the summer since the season starts like later up there and the water is colder. Um, so I built like an underbody like this. Some prefer to keep the body thicker than this, and some pre, some people prefer to tie it on a smaller hook. You know, it just depends on your preferences. And then we lay it down and uh, anchor in the um, flat bit, the quill subs or kill i don't know my, my english is, isn't perfect and then we wrap this forward and then we are going to um uh, wrap the uh, flat plate forward this is as i said this is a fly by colbert grimson he is like a legend in ice Icelandic fly tying and um, before we will wrap the flat plate forward Put a little bit of a sapper cap on the 
on the underbody, so it's going to reinforce the fly and increase the durability of the whole of the whole thing. And then we'll wrap the um, flat braid, the peacock colored flat braid. It's a green peacock uh, quill subs from Semperfly. It looks pretty, pretty good. And as I said, I have caught fish on this. Um, some are like kind of passive when it comes to tying old patterns like this one. It's developed in the like the seventies, late seventies in Iceland. And uh, some of them, some people disagree on that that you can't tie tie these flies, these old patterns with new materials, but. I disagree with these people saying that, so I'm going to tie this fly even again with a different type of material in this. Um, for the hot spot of the fly, you can use either like a floss, like a fluor orange floss. You can use your thread if you have it. It has to be like an orange, um, fiery orange thing. And the tone of the orange really maybe doesn't matter, but. Uh, as you, as long as you have like an orange glow bright thing, I'm using this sample fly material, of course. But um, but um, this is like a fluor orange. You can use like a fiery orange uh, as well. Some guys I know fishing here in Iceland, they even use like a green, like a Sertrus green color for this hot spot of the fly. And so we'll do like a touching wraps forward. Like this. This is a really, as I, as I said, really simple fly to tie. It's really simple to tie. It's really simple to fish. You just fish it really slowly. Just let it touch the bottom and just drag it in really slow, slow drag, and uh, fish it really deep. That's why the tungsten bead is really handy coming into and let it sink down. Then we just do like a little knot on it, um, the whip finishing knot. And as I said, the um, pattern is in the video's description. There you can find also, um, you can find also like a, like a link to my PayPal, PayPal, so you can support the channel financially. I I use this as a few dollars I get a month. Uh, to buy materials and, and improve the system and the light the light system and that stuff so it's possible for you guys to uh, to keep on going this channel um, and again remember to like share and subscribe and uh, that helps the algorithm of the YouTube algorithm to to um, for more people to see my content and uh, I'm recovering from the, from this uh, health issues I have been having last month, so I'm very happy. It's slowly but steady, it's recovering. So I just want to say to you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.